Hey everyone, welcome to another two by four strength day with yours truly. My name's Bree, welcome on in. Now today is gonna round out the three part series of our two by four strength here in our initial release. And today we're gonna focus on chest and triceps. I am so excited to do this workout with you guys. It's gonna follow the same protocol. We have two work, two sets, excuse me, two exercises, four sets and two blocks. 224, a lot to say. But if you're doing this live, welcome on in. Make sure to drop comments. I can see them and I will answer them. And if you're doing this on replay, it is just as special. And everybody, bookmark this, save it, add it to a playlist because you're going to want to come back to it. And it pairs really nicely with the leg day we did as well as the back and arms day. So we're going to take a couple minutes right here to warm up the body. So go ahead and just take a nice base, brace the core, open and close that chest. Very nice job. I'm gonna make one adjustment just as you guys are opening and closing your chest for me right there. And I want you to be breathing nice and deep in through the nose, out through the mouth. Great work. And I'm gonna focus on making sure that we watch that clock so that we can hit all these exercises in the designated time that I have for us. So 25 minutes ends up going real quick. Give me a couple more open and close. And then go ahead and take some big deep breaths in here, really opening up through the arms. And exhale. Good, another big deep breath in. Exhale. Good, two more. And now I actually turn this into a mobility move as well. So big sweep with those arms overhead, last one. And you're creating semicircles on either side of your body. Good, and then from here, I want you to go into a nice low sweep and then come up on the toes, open the chest. Good, so this is also gonna get chest, shoulders, and a little bit of legs, because I want the entire body warm. Good, big, big reach overhead. As you get further and further into this warm up move, open up a little bit wider. So mobility is huge in being able to get really effective sets. So the more you guys work on your mobility and then come back and do this, the better your results are gonna be over time. Good, keep going. Three more seconds. And let's take it to a little bit of jumping jacks. You can go real light. And again, just keeping that nice expansion through the arms, landing softly. You guys look really good. Keep going. This is your low impact option. And as soon as that clock hits the 30 second mark, I will give you 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go into our first move. Good, keep going. Just under 10 seconds left. And what I wanna tell you guys is exactly what you're gonna see in your first block. Okay, break. Notice I do have my water on set. That's so you can grab sips, inspires you to also drink your gallon every day. Okay, first moves. I'm gonna change it up here for the first set. We're actually gonna do push-ups, and then we're gonna come up to the top, and we're gonna hit neutral grip, front raise, lateral raise. So it's actually a body weight workout, excuse me, a body weight exercise first. And then I want you to set up your dumbbells and get ready for your shoulder set next. All right, guys, come on down to the ground with me. Here we go. First set of push-ups. I got you here for one minute and you can go knees or toes. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Good. So inhale, exhale, push away. <sighs> Keep going. Now with all of our sets today, the goal in reps is anywhere from 10 to 15. So for our push-up set, same thing. However, if you are really busting through them quickly, you could also focus on a little bit quicker and maybe hit closer to the 20 mark. Exhale. Good, now each set is one minute long. However, that also gives us a chance to transition. So finishing our last few here, go ahead and come up. Just enough time to grab your dumbbells. And we're gonna hit our front right here. So front to lateral, and that is our full set. So a hit anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, start right here. And that could be combos. So you could count each front and side as one, or maybe you're going heavier and each rep. <sighs> And I actually realized I picked pretty challenging weight for this front side lateral set. Now remember, you have four sets total, so you can always drop the weight down in between. As we get through these sets, because four is a lot of volume, you're definitely gonna start to feel that fatigue. 
So just do your best. Always, always take breaks when you need to. Never have to wait for me to say that. Good, just a few more. And above all, make sure you have really good form. I'd rather you do less reps, take a break right here, with better form than the reverse. Okay, team, come on down. Yes, we have our second set of push-ups. I can't say we've done four sets of really much so far in our time together, so this is gonna be a game changer. Go ahead and come down. And remember, knees, totally an option. And then check it out, you could go knee, two toes, and that's how you would bridge the gap between those two. If you ever wondered, how am I ever gonna get from my knees to my toes? You can do that where you start on the knees and then push up all the way to the toes. Great work. All right, I always wanna give you guys some form cues as well. So pull your abs in super tight, and I want you to think about your elbows going slightly backwards. Good, I always come up so I can explain. That means you don't have to have your arms coming directly out to the side. Give yourself a little bit of an angle, and that will help you get into the chest a little bit more without stressing the shoulder. Good, finish your last one. Come on up. All right, if you're like me and you are taking a little weight off, go ahead and do that now, quickly. Get in your spot. Front side, lateral raises. Three, two, one, let's go. So front raise and lateral raise. I will say, if you're new to strength training, always err on the side of lighter, and over time, you'll really get comfortable with where you're at, and if you're consistent, you'll get comfortable with where you can push. <sighs> you ever heard that quote? If you don't wanna keep starting over, don't stop. <laughs> the consistency is right there, because if you do take a chunk of time off, often you're starting back, at least for a little bit, there is some muscle memory, but you're starting back where you started at the very beginning. So stay consistent, and you'll consistently be able to increase, whether it's reps, weight, volume, break. All right, team, come on down. We got our third set of push-ups. Now, I do recognize push-ups are challenging. You could also end up holding a plank if your chest is waving the white flag. So come on down with me, and let's go. Third set. Exhales, you push away. And now I want you to think about another form cue. So each time we come down, I'm gonna give you a little bit more. So elbows are already in place. Now I want you to tuck your chin and really pull it in tight as you push away. So if you make that little tweak, and you guys can tell me in the comments, you're gonna feel that immediately in your form. Good, so come on down, exhale. What you're doing basically is keeping your body compact. So you're coming down as a unit and up as a unit. Often, we perceive us reaching out with our chin towards the floor as getting a deeper range of motion, when in actuality, you're just stressing the neck. So keep it tucked. All right, go ahead and come on up. Third set, front lateral. I know we're moving quick, but I will give you a break between our blocks today. Okay, brace your abs. I say that every time because I tell you what, it's such a good reminder, no matter how long you've been working out. Here we go. Front and side. I love these shoulder combos. <sighs> because our shoulder joint has three different parts to it, both of our shoulder exercises today, we are gonna be doing combo sets. <sighs> Good. So this, just if you're, if you're curious, because I'd like to give you guys what we're doing, where we're targeting, we are hitting the front part of our shoulder, so the anterior delt, and then as you go out to the side, medial delt, or lateral, middle delt. Good. Five more seconds. You got this. And time. Okay, one more set of each. Now, I wanna just point out, if today, doing this for the first time, you feel like you're fatiguing quite a bit, take it easy, but keep going, because every time you do this workout, you'll feel better and better. Come down, last set. Inhales, you push away. Your last form cue that I want you to really focus on is as you come down, think about pulling up off your low back, creating space, in your upper back and feel space in your armpits so that as you push away and your chin tucked and your abs are tight, you're gonna feel a lot more in your chest and not your low back. So that's kind of our final piece. All those put together, team, 
are not only going to get you better results, they will make your push-ups feel a little bit harder because you're doing them correctly. <laughs> Keep going. Good, five more seconds. Inhale, and then exhale. Break, come on up. It's a quick break, but after this set, you'll get a longer break. How are we feeling, by the way, crew? You good? All right, last set. Last set, you know what I'm gonna say. Last set, best set, meaning focus even closer. Here we go. Front and lateral. Good, keep going. Really brace those abs. Notice I did cue neutral grip, so your hands face you the entire time. Great job. You see me looking over because I covered your comments and I'm like, what if they're saying hello and I haven't seen them yet? Keep going, team. There you guys are. All right, now I can see you up. Oh, oh, good. Oh, Sean, it's good to see you here. Okay, keep going. You have just a few more. Five seconds. Good. Hi, Steve. And break. Okay, team. Go ahead and take a longer break. Grab a sip of water, and I'm actually gonna give us a full one minute break because we pushed real quick through those sets. So grab your sip of water, and let's get ready for block number two. So what we're gonna do next is go ahead and set up for another chest set and shoulder set. All right, so watch me. You guys are taking a full break. Do not feel like you have to be moving right now. It's just watching what's coming up next. Okay, so you're gonna have an underhand open palms, but you're gonna be at a slight V angle. So check it out. We're gonna hit alternating cross body, and this is gonna be targeting our chest. So think of it as scooping underneath and raising those weights up and across. Got it? So that's move two. Combo move for your shoulders, and you got 15 seconds before we start. You're gonna tip at the hips. We're gonna hit a high pull to hit our rear delt, palms facing your body. Then you stand up, upright row. This set is one of my favorites. Are you ready? Here we go, team. Underhand, cross body raises. Good. Now, after two sets of these, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an option if you want that will slow it down a little bit, target the chest in a bigger range of motion, but kind of be an option that you might wanna take midway. I'm teasing it, it's coming, don't worry. Oh, look, you guys are gonna get a visitor. So in case you don't know, hi, Zena. I have two little baby kitties. And I always wonder if I should lock them out to not come in set, but I'm like, you know what, they're so cute. They're a great distraction sometimes. You're like, okay, I got a few more. Look at the cute cat. Um, but Zena's the shy one. When she comes out, I always feel like it's a special day. Okay, break. Shake it out. <sighs> so the fact that you guys just saw her, you just got instant energy and magic for our lift. <laughs> Thank you, baby Z. Okay, grab your dumbbells. High pull to upright row. Let's do it. So pulling elbows wide, squeeze the rear delts, come up, upright row. Nice, so tip at the hips. This rear delt move right here, really important to focus on. So if you wanna take your time, I am all about that because there's a lot going on. So just like with push-ups, let me start to give you some of those key points you wanna think about. And it's just to make your form even better so you get the most out of it. Okay, so as you tip at your hips, let's talk about your torso first. Brace your abs, <laughs> tuck your chin. Okay, and then make sure as you're pulling out to the side, you're leading with your elbows and your arms stay at 90 degrees. Okay, take a little break. Notice in between I am let, letting my weights, setting them down, shaking out my arms, give myself a little chance to breathe. Okay, second round, underhand, targeting those chests. Okay, here we go, cross. So this one, what you will start to notice as you get tired is that the weight starts to pull you down. So either drop your weight or re-engage to make sure you have a really great, strong integrity in your entire torso, meaning everything is stacked, all the joints are stacked, and you're not putting unnecessary stress by letting the weights pull you down. So you want really strong core, feel your chest, initiate that move. So we're coming 
in and up. Hitting our chest in a little bit of a different angle. Nice job. Keep going. And three, two, one, shake it out. Nice job. There'll be an optional addition to that coming up next. All right, second set. If you can't tell, I'm really excited about the fact that we get four sets because increased volume means increased results. Okay, high pull. So elbows wide. Give me that nice squeeze on top. Now as you come through, it's like a little mini deadlift. Upright row. So let's talk a little bit more about as you're pulling up with that high pull. It's very common, especially as you get tired, to want to pull up with your shoulders and give me a shrug. I want you to actually think about tucking your chin and going wide and feeling the squeeze in your rear delts. And if you're not familiar, when I say rear delts, you're hitting the back of your shoulder. So it's a semi-small muscle group. You can definitely drop the weight if you don't feel it. But team, it's a very important one. Go ahead and break because it helps train our posture. So when you think about it, this muscle is gonna help bring the shoulders back. So paired with some of the stretches we're gonna do at the end, strengthening and then stretching, it's gonna be a great combination. Okay, here we go. So starting with those underhand cross body raises. Now if you want, I call this an underhand shift and you can come to the side. Now notice it does stop you from getting as many reps, right? Because you actually have added movement. So if you want to stick with just the alternating underhand raise, whew, go ahead. But this also is a way for you to control and bring it out to the side. Now, personally, I happen to love these. Very functional. So cross the body. I open my palms just to make sure I'm not squeezing the heck out of the dumbbells. There you go, and break. So you can choose. I'm going to do that same set on our fourth set as well. Oh, it feels so good. Shake it out a little bit. We're almost there, and there's going to be plenty of time to stretch. All right. High pull. I'll give you a little bit different angle. High pull to upright row. Pull wide. Stand tall. Pull up. Nice. All right, so this workout, just like all the two by fours, they do feel very fatiguing when you're in it, but they are also still very quick in nature, being 25 minutes. So as we get towards the end and we're getting in these last few sets, really focus on that and know that you're almost done. So give me all you got and check it out. You can also take this to a mobility move. You could even add a little rotation there. Take a break. Whenever you fatigue and maybe you don't want to drop the weight anymore, you just want to kind of take a break, just do mobility and move through it with good form. Okay, underhand, <sighs> cross body, add that little shift if you'd like. Here we go. So we bring it up, across, and down. You can also stick, again, with just your singles. <sighs> Now make sure as I'm coming up, I'm not letting my body go with me. You want to brace. <sighs> nice. Shaking is definitely going to happen as you start to fatigue. Just make sure you keep it out of your neck. <sighs> I hope you guys are starting to really see that lifting is a lot of focused mind-muscle connection. And I love it because I start thinking, you know what? We really are sculpting our body. We're carving out. Good. Take your break. I'm just going to be even. <laughs> We're carving out the muscles that we want to target. We are really building and shaping our bodies. We are artists of our own physique. <laughs> okay, guys, last set. High pull to upright row. Take 15 more seconds. This is our last one. I will say, being our third two by four that we've done, I've pushed us a little quicker on time so we can afford to have a little bit of an extra 15 second break so we get the most out of this last set. Are you ready? Knees bent, booty back, let's go. Wide pull, come up, upright row. Very nice. Good, squeeze those glutes underneath you. 
Very nice. And if you're starting to really build up stamina these days and you're like, okay, well, I kind of want to do another workout. Guess what? You can hit either your leg day we did and pair that with this one, or you can pair the back and arms. The way these workouts are split up, they're great for stacking, or you can hit one a day and notice there's three. You could hit them twice a week. A lot of ways that you can program and use these ongoing, which is the purpose and what I want you to do. All right, finish your last one. Excellent work. Go ahead and set your dumbbells down. Now, I did mention that we'd have plenty of time to stretch, and it was really important to me that we did today because chest can be a muscle that gets super tight. So go ahead and take your hands behind your back first. Hold here. Now, I'm going to come up to the wall and do one of my very favorite chest stretches on the wall. If you have a wall close right now, go ahead and do it with me. If not, you can stay here and do this stretch when we're finished, because I know everybody has access to a wall somewhere. Um, if you're not doing the wall stretch, you can also hit an upper back stretch and go between the two. If you do have access to a wall right now, go ahead and join me. So we're gonna do that diagonal wall stretch. So you just come up to the wall, bring that arm up at an angle, and then don't be too quick to turn a ton because you wanna get everything stacked. Use the wall as leverage. I always have the base of my palm. And then it's just a tiny turn. It's a really small movement, especially if you don't typically do this because our chest is so tight. Good, and then just gently switch. So all you do is just turn the other way. So my legs mirror the same as the wall. Arm behind me, the reason I stretch at a diagonal is because the best way to stretch a muscle is to stretch the way that it runs. So our chest starts on our shoulder and attaches on our sternum at that diagonal. Good, second set, bend your elbow. You can come down a little bit more and this is gonna hit more of the pec minor. And I will say that this stretch alone, if you struggle with any shoulder, if you feel like you have impingements or limitations in range of motion, often, we're gonna go ahead and switch. So same thing, bend your elbow, drop down a little bit into that lunge. And I'm just gonna explain. Often, it's our pec minor that's pulling our shoulder down and in. And then it's really hard to get a good range of motion when that muscle's tight. So I hope that inspires you to stretch more. The more you can do this, the better. All right, go ahead and come out. Grab those elbows. You saw me do this earlier. This is a great way to just wring out your spine, go up and down. And then I'm actually gonna come down to the floor and we're gonna stretch through the shoulders a little bit. Before I get there, actually, let's do a little bit of a rotator stretch. So palms open on your back. <sighs> Always brace the abs and then push your elbows floor, forward gently. Good, we're gonna do doubles and then we'll do singles. I love all this extra stretch time. Okay, release one arm. If you have the range of motion, you can grab just above your elbow and then ear to shoulder opposite direction. This stretch is incredible. Switch, be really gentle. And if you don't have the range of motion here, that's okay, you can still do the stretch like this. This just adds a little bit more of a degree of tension. Tuck your chin and go to the side. Beautiful. All right, go ahead and come down to your mat or floor. Okay, kneeling position, abs tight. I want you to go ahead and reach out. Place your palms on the ground, elbows down, sink back into your heels, and now prayer position with those arms. Go ahead and bring your arms up and stretch out through the shoulders. And just hold a couple seconds and give me anywhere from three to five. <sighs> Blow out all your air. Really think about relaxing. We carry a lot of tension in those shoulders and our neck. Good, give me a couple more. <sighs> and last one, please. Great work, slowly come up. Kneeling position, face me. We're gonna hit those rear delts that we definitely worked today. So you can do kneeling or standing. I like to do kneeling for this one just because it gives you a little bit more control over your body because you're only worried about waist up really. Okay, so bring one arm across the body. Here's your rear delt stretch and then I wanna side bend. And then open your chest and switch. We're gonna make this a little bit more dynamic. 
So I'm coming across and down. Now I'm not, I'm just gonna show you from the side. I'm not doing this too much. I'm really keeping everything stacked and just slight bend. Good, open, switch one more time each side. And switch, cross and down, abs tight. Go ahead and come up. Okay, two of the biggest deep breaths and the widest range of motion you can find in your upper body. Here we go, inhale. And exhale, big smile. Good, last one, big breath. Inhale. And exhale, put a big smile on your face. Bring your hands together. You know that when you smile, you automatically increase your mood. Put a smile on, celebrate today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And if you wanna do another workout, definitely stack another one onto here and drink some water and I will see you on Thursday. Bye team.